Hello everyone, this is Mark Guillermo of 413 Group, here again for another 413 review on 4th of July. Happy Independence Day to our American viewers. Today, let's take a look at a video about the 1st Filipino Infantry Regiment of the United States Army during World War II. Interesting fact, here in the United States, Independence Day is celebrated on July 4th, but did you know that in the Philippines, it also used to be celebrated on July 4th? The United States of America granted independence to the Philippines on July 4th, 1946, independence, through the Treaty of Manila. And you know, they thought like, hey, it's July 4th, it's Independence Day in the United States, it's July 4th in the Philippines right now, maybe we should make it also Independence Day here in the Philippines. So it became July 4th as the Independence Day for quite a while in the Philippines, all the way until it was changed by President Diosdado Macapagal. So on May 12th, 1962, President Diosdado Macapagal issued Presidential Proclamation Number 28, which declared June 12th as the Philippine Independence Day. And on August 4th, 1964, Republic Act Number 4166 changed the July 4th holiday into the Philippine Republic Day. So that's a little bit of the history about July 4th in the Philippines. But back to the topic of the 1st Filipino Infantry Regiment in the United States Army during World War II. Here is a short clip. Let's take a look at it. Ever since Manila was bombed, ever since Batan fell, ever since Corregidor was surrendered, a particular group of soldiers in the United States Army has worked toward the day when their relatives in the Philippines will be delivered from the Japs and shall formally establish the Philippine Republic. The first Filipino infantry, which began with eight men and three officers, expanded to full strength under Colonel Robert F. Hoffley, a West Pointer who grew up in the Philippines. So the 1st Filipino Infantry Regiment was actually a segregated unit of the United States Army. It was originally a battalion and then declared as a regiment in July 1942. In 1945, it was deployed to the Philippines to see combat for the first time as a unit. So fast with volunteers from every part of the United States that a 2nd Filipino Infantry Regiment had to be active. So a really awesome thing about this video is that you get to see these soldiers working hard in the barracks, learning new things such as... The Filipino regiments use their spare time to learn extra things that will make them better soldiers than their hated enemy. For instance, radio. No one told them to study radio, but these men are coaching each other on their own time, sending, receiving, until they get it. Another really cool thing about this video is that they show the Filipino culture at its best, taking it easy and enjoying the moment. And now we see a little bit of that here with the Sipa. Like any other Joe soldier, the Filipinos have their own lighter moments. A favorite pastime is Sipa, a game with a kick in it. And then also the yo-yoing. For a hot solo entertainment, the yo-yo stars come forward. This amusement, which swept America as a popular craze a few years ago, is a Filipino invention. Once the gadget is in motion, something pretty close to science steps in. It's also really great that they mentioned that the yo-yo is a Filipino invention, that it was brought into the United States actually. In fact, I know a couple of yo-yo tricks myself. Ooh, 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 ooh. Boom! And then also, of course, Filipino culture, you gotta have some food. A resourceful people, the Filipinos have other inventions, like this wooden traversing wheel, which applied in artillery practice often serves to... Oh, oh, excuse it please. This turns out to be a savory preparation for a lechon, or roast pig party. The porkers are roasted all through a night and a day. I love how the narrator calls it lechon. 
And of course, the portion here that you've been wanting to see is some Filipino martial arts. Here we go. To the weapons of the GI American soldier is now added another, straight out of the national tradition of the Filipino. Here every man of the 2nd Regiment receives a bolo knife as part of his field equipment, the gift of a public-spirited group of Los Angeles citizens. For everything from hacking a trail to the jungle to close combat, the bolo is the national pride of the Filipino. He will now take it into battle for his enslaved people and for the United Nations, blazing with determination to do their utmost against the enemy they understand so well. They will be a mighty factor when we all go back under MacArthur. For they remember that no matter where MacArthur sets up his headquarters, he always gives his address at that hand to keep faith with those who kept it there to the end. These U.S. Filipino fighting men have only one desire. It drives them at their work and it gives them their motto, on to the ten. That was really awesome, right? So the Filipino martial arts that you do, they really were used in combat. Now, every time I look at this clip, I wonder, were they just going with live blades? They probably were. That's awesome. Maybe we should go back to practicing with live blades. So the Royal Gurkha Rifles, an elite unit, they have the Kukri as their weapon of choice. And the 1st Filipino Infantry Regiment, they had the Bolo as their weapon of choice. What about you? What's your weapon of choice? Please put it down in the comment sections down below. I'd love to read your responses. And please, once again, like, share, and subscribe. And hit that little ding-a-ling-a-ling -a -ling thing down there. It doesn't sound right. So during the war, everyone recognized all of the efforts that the 1st and the 2nd Filipino Regiment were putting into the war front. But after the war, it kind of just faded away. So that's why we're making videos like these, so that we can really spread more awareness about these kinds of units. The Filipino Americans who had fought really hard, not just for the Philippine people, but also for the United States. And then also there are companies out there who make art that pushes history forward in order for the younger generation to be more aware of it and also to recognize it. Just like this shirt that I'm wearing right here, it actually has the motto of the 1st Filipino Infantry Regiment. It says, Lagging Una or Always First. And right here is actually a stylized version of their logo or insignia. And yep, I'm just gonna stand here for about five seconds or so. Just stare at it. So this shirt and hat combo is a collaboration between Bayani Art and Itak. We'll put the website links down below in the description. So please check out their websites and purchase their merchandise because this is one of the great ways to remember history. It's to put it on and have someone ask you, what's that about? Now you better have the knowledge. Maybe they are physically small men, these island soldiers, but armed with their inherited weapon. Maybe we are physically small, we island soldiers, but hey. We have our inherited weapons here and in here. <laughs>